Good morning, happy Sunday. I am excited to be with you guys today. Um, it is a rainy day here in Ontario, while where I live. And I thought, you know what? Let's jump on and do a Facebook Live. I have been working behind scenes trying to figure out what day works best for me and maybe for you guys. So for a little bit, I'm gonna try Sunday mornings. And I figured if you're available to watch, you're going to watch. And if you are uh, watching on the replay, let me know. Um, life has been very busy for me. I'll give you a little backbone. Uh, lots of things happening, work pulling me in different directions, hey, home life busy with that. And I, you know, the weather is turning nice. So trying to get stuff done in the gardens. I spent all day in the garden. So today I'm thankful for some rain so that I can be inside in my craft room. I'm definitely missing my craft room. So welcome, welcome to our, I'm going to call it our crafting sessions now because I we usually do Monday nights and I'm going to try flipping them to Sundays and see how that works for everybody. So today I have some reminders for you. I have a quick card to show you and then I have some samples to share with you. I'm actually sharing a card with you that is one of my favorite products that I'm actually going to be carrying over from the January to June into the new annual 2022. So I have been eyeing this bundle for a very long time and when I saw that it was carrying over, it was time for me to buy it. And I have a process where I like to keep things in a basket. I have um, one of these totes on my, it's an Ikea tote on my desk. And that's where all new products sit. So it can't go onto my shelves, which are over there, until I use them. So I, I find sometimes when I get new product, I put them on the shelf and then guess what? I forget about them. And then a year later when the catalog retires, I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't even used that set yet. So that's crazy. So if you're new here, say hi. Um, I see there's some friends are popping on. Hello, Angie. Nice to see you guys. See you again. And I saw someone else pop on. And let me try to get here. Oh, I, the comments have already flew through. Um, so yeah, so we're going to stamp. I have some things to share with you. I'm also doing, um, working on my classes. So I will be doing some in-person classes. I'm going to be doing my big buy one, get one at the end of May. And I'm looking forward to, I have all this new stuff sitting on my desk and I'm looking forward to putting it away and getting creating with it. So let's flip the camera. Um, I hope I can do it. My puppy is sitting under my feet right now, so I'm hoping I can do it a smooth flip over. Um, so yeah, he's down below me. Uh, so let's, uh, I'm gonna flip the camera. We got some updates and let's get some crafting. I'll be right with you, so hold on. Okay, if you are here, once I see the flip, uh, um, my goal over the summer when I'm off work is to really look at some new uh, technology for Facebook Lives. I know a lot of people that use streams. I'm going to look into that for a more transition, smooth transition. And actually, you can see my face when I talk. It's, I think that's kind of cool. All right. So welcome, welcome. If you're here, if you're watching on the replay, let me know. Um, if you're just popping on, uh, so I usually just give you a little back entry. I usually do my Facebook Lives on Monday night. Um, once we kind of hit that global shutdown, I wanted to still be able to craft and connect with my customers. Um, so I decided to do Monday night lives. And I was hearing from my customers that Monday night is a hard night. And I get it, it's the start of the week. Maybe the timing wasn't right. So I've been trying to figure out with my like creating session, my marketing plan, what days would be good for me to go live. And I'm thinking Sunday mornings right now might be good. So I'm going to try Sunday mornings for the month of May and I'm going to reevaluate. And um, which kind of works good because what I want to do is like show the projects and then at the end of the week would be like a, a send off where I show you all the samples. We talk about the products and then I send out a newsletter on Sundays that's called Weekly Roundup and it has all the products in it plus a free tutorial. So if you're not on my email mailing list, make sure you get on there. Uh, you can head to my blog, which is www.stampwithann.com. Click on the join now for my newsletter. And I will also link it in the video below. So I will be posting this video to YouTube. Um, that will be going up later today because I need to send out my newsletter. And I, so the link will also be there. All right, so let's get chatting. First of all, 
Can you believe it? It's May 1st. Where did that even happen? So May 2nd, which is tomorrow, is the last day for this annual catalog. I can't believe that a year has flown by. Um, the retiring list is out, which is aka the last chance list. And there is lots of stamp sets have sold out. Um, as you can see, if I flip through my book, um, a lot of the ones that are crossed out is sold out. But there's still lots of great products available. So if you want to take your grab your list, uh, grab through the catalog, see what's on. I, you know, the best way to view is to go to my online store um, and view it there. And if you need to place an order, you can do so. Um, just remember you have till tomorrow is the last day to hold out for that. So lots of still great products. So the catalog that I'm that I will be working with you today is our mini catalog. It's our January to June. Um, this catalog goes to the end of June, so still lots of great time to order products from it. Um, some products are carrying over and some products will not. So once June comes, Stampin' Up! will release a, um, a last chance list of products that are selling out from here. Um, like I said, the project we are using today is from here and I will show that to you once I get going. All right, we are a new month, which means we are a new online new hostess code. Let me just move this down so you guys can see it. Um, so our May hostess code is right here. If you shop during the month of May, whether you're in person or online, you're going to get these new glossy dots. Look at those, aren't they beautiful? Um, I just unpacked a couple orders and these were in them. Uh, gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, I believe Daffodil and Pool Party. So really, really nice. So if you order in the month of May, you're going to get these from me as my way of saying thank you. Any orders over $50 will automatically get those. And what I do is I place the order at the end of the month and then I ship them. All right, so exciting news. New catalog starts Tuesday, May 3rd. I wish I could show you the inside of the catalog, but again, Stampin' Up! policies, I cannot. I can tell you this new catalog is fabulous. Um, if you're one of my current customers, I am working on catalog preps this afternoon, so they will be ready to go later out tonight, and I will indicate that in my newsletter for you guys. If you're not one of my customers and you would like a catalog, please message me and I will pop one in the mail for you. Um, fabulous catalog. I love, love, love the new in colors, the clean look, the layout. Stampin' Up! really did a great job with this catalog. All right, let me put that away. So the project we are, the stamp set we are using today, let me just find it here. Um, so when I first saw this stamp set in the January to June catalog, I fell in love with it. A, because I love the ocean. I love the nautical scenes. I actually have a bathroom that's decorated and nautical. Um, I really enjoy it. It just reminds me of the East Coast. My dad's from the East Coast. Um, and yeah, I just love it. Love the water, love the beach, love everything like that. So when I saw this set, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. And then life got busy, I didn't order it. And then when the last chance list came out, I saw that it was carrying over the new catalog. I was like, yeah, we're ordering it. So this is what we're creating with today. I'm going to show you some tips with this stamp set and the, the punch. We're gonna create this card and then I have a bunch of samples to share with you. And if any time you have any questions, please let me know. I will go back. If I see them pop up on my screen, I will answer them. And if I don't, I will definitely go back and um, answer them for you. So let me just move that out of the way. So we are working with the Let's Sail Away bundle. So it is a photo Palmer stamp set, which means it is jelly-like. And it is, oops, it is a photo Palmer, which means it's clear, which means it's a two-step. I'm not, I don't look, it's kind of wonky right now. Um, so with it comes a coordinating bundle, or a coordinating punch. So this is the sailboat builder punch, which means you punch and you build. Um, and I'm gonna show you a trick of how to create like a template and use that. So basically what I did was I took some thick white cardstock and I just put my punch in and punched my sailboat. So now what I'm gonna do is when we create, I will use that as a guide for when I'm stamping. So those are the products we are using. And I also paired it with the, um, this is the Ways of Ocean Designer Series paper that was part of the Ways of Ocean's collection. The stamp set and dies are carrying over the new catalog, but the paper is not. So the paper when I checked this morning was still available, or actually last night when I checked it was still available. Um, and I believe, 
this promotion is done tomorrow. So if you want this paper, you're gonna have to order. But just look at this paper. This paper was actually done with paint ca canvas. They splattered paint onto a canvas to get these different looks, took pictures, and then they created it into designer series paper. How beautiful is that? All right, let me move that out of my way. We are also using, um, I actually in my card use the Rhinestone Waves Basic Gems. Um, these unfortunately have sold out, but I love them. I just love the colors. We are using the Costa Cabana, so I did want to show you that you could order Costa Cabana holiday, uh, Costa Cabana rhinestones and the holiday rhinestone gems. So they're just the same things like that. So, all right, let's get started. So we are using, and I put my card over there so I can show you after. Oh, and I think, let me see. And then you have to grab some paper in a circle. Okay, so we are using, let me move some stuff out of my way. Put that over there. We are using Costa Cabana, and I'm just gonna move this up out of my way. We are using Costa Cabana, so five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to score it at four and a quarter, and you're just going to use a bone folder, and you're going to crease your line like that. We are using two pieces of the Ways of Ocean Designer Series paper. One they both measure one inch. So what I did was like one by four and a half and then one by four and a quarter. We are using the banner pick a punch, which I absolutely love because I love the different banners. And we're just gonna put it in and we're just gonna punch and when it does, it gives you that banner look. This punch is actually carrying over, let's say in our current catalog and it is carrying over. So I'm excited about that because I do use this punch a lot. All right, I forgot to grab a circle, so let me grab my white paper. And All right, so I have our little mini stamp and cut. Um, so this is our baby boss. I call this baby boss. I have some white paper. Yep, that will fit. And I'm using the layering circle dies and we want the largest circle. The largest circle. So we're just going to put that there. Um, if someone was to ask me what my favorite tool was in my craft room, I have many, but hands down it is my die cutting machines. I love the big stamp and cut and I love the mini stamp and cut. And I love the fact because I can emboss with them and I can die cut with them. So two of my favorite things I love to use in my craft room. Actually, I don't think there's a project where I don't use these. So if they're not, oops, they're not on your wish list, I would definitely recommend them. Okay. I have a, a paper piercer mat. I have our cute little grid papers. So these are the little grid papers you can get. Um, for your stamp apparatus, and I thought, why not use those for our projects? So the first thing we're gonna start with is our circle. We're going to create some, build up our ocean. So we are using Bermuda Bay. And if I have to tell you, one of my favorite Stampin' Up! colors is Bermuda Bay. Uh, I love the color, I love the blue, and it's actually the color of my blog. Um, and all of my logo is Bermuda Bay and black, so that's kind of fun. Um, just trying to find a stamp set. Hi, Brenda. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, so, I'm actually going to use, let me give you a little trick. So, in this uh, stamp set, and I'm going to show you the image, right here is kind of like water. And I thought, hey, let's not make our own ocean with this stamp. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp down, and then I'm just going to, you can do you know, the different layers of the effects of water. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around because I'm actually making the different waves. And then you can stamp off. And then I'm actually gonna come in and do the bottom. And then I'm gonna come in here and do the top. Now, I know it doesn't look perfect and that's okay because as you think about it, like a water, and I could come in and do some little over here you know when you think about like a water and you're like 
we when you're on cruises, I don't know if you've been on cruises or in your boat, but you actually see like white caps in the water. Um, so I'm trying to think like there's some dark blue water, light water, and some white caps. So that's kind of what we're doing. So we have that. And then I love, love, love. One of my favorite things is birds. I love birds. Um, <clears throat> I have bird feeders outside my window. Uh, so we are definitely going to put some birds in our image. So you know how you see the birds coming off the waters as the boats drive by. So we're using memento ink and we're going to stamp the birds in and around. And I'm just going to put that memento ink back for a minute. All right, the next thing we do, so we're done with that. So we're just going to move that over to the side. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to grab a scrap piece of paper. And I'm just going to put that down. Now we're going to build our, our sailboat. So as I said, what I did was I took a scrap piece of thick cardstock are thick white and I stamped the boat. So what I'm doing is I'm using it as a placement so I can stamp my images so that when I go to punch, I'm punching one and not four different times. So I have crumb cake as my mass. I think that's what they're called. I think you call them the mass. So let's just put that down. So we're gonna put that down. And, oh, and I can't stamp that far apart, so I'm gonna bring it up. So what I'm doing literally is just lining it down so you can see I've stamped in, and now if I pull up, I'm gonna have that image there. So let's just pull this off. And I'm going to grab the sailboat. So there's actually two types of sail images that you need. And I'm actually done with my crumb cake. I have a little bit on my desk. I'm trying to stay focused, um, organized, clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so how's your weekend been going? I spent yesterday, <laughs> thank goodness it rained today because I don't sure my body could take another day. I gardened. Um, I have two gardens and three gardens in my front and uh, a garden that goes around my deck and then a back garden. I have one back garden to do. I ran out of time last night. Uh, we ripped out two big bushes. I love lilac bushes, but my lilac bushes have been around for a very long time and we're overpowering this space. So I have, I look out my window now and it looks so clean and I'm excited to plant new things. So yeah, let's just gotta get this weather to warm up. But uh, my body is like, what the heck happened yesterday? <laughs> I feel like I have muscle soreness where I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Anyways, it was a good day. So I'm looking forward to spending some time in my room, um, just creating and having fun, prepping catalogs. I have a video to shoot. Yeah, what's on your agenda today? Okay, so I have stamped this, as you can see. So now we're going to pull that off. And what I do is I just keep that template in my case. So I know where it is when I'm ready to use it. And a backup. Bring in that sailboat builder punch and I'm gonna line her up and look at that. I can now punch with one punch instead of doing it three different times. So we're just gonna do that. As I said, you will find this stamp set in the, um, oh, we're just gonna move this over. I have one thing to do before we assemble the card. You can find this in the January to June catalog and it is carrying over into the um, new 2022 Anne cat. So you might be saying to me, like, well, Anne, I know, like, you know, I'm starting to get a collection of stamp sets. Why would I want this stamp set in my collection? Okay, I'm going to give you, like, a bunch of reasons. One, it's a great stamp set. A, it comes with a punch. A lot of people like punches, especially if you're a new crafter. Maybe you don't have die-cutting machines. Um, the punches are the best. When I first started, I loved anything with punches because it was like, you stamp, you punch, you go. This stamp set you could use for numerous occasions. I think retirement, adventure awaits. Um, it could be a masculine card for masculine birthdays, graduations, let your dream set sail, birthdays. So we have retirement, masculine cards, birthdays, uh, graduation. There's, and I feel there's a bunch more that you could probably use with this stamp set. 
And I'm going to, like I said, we're going to create this and then I have a bunch of samples to share with you that I've done all week. So this is my goal is to show, to show you throughout the week what I do. Sunday mornings, kind of recap it and then send out that newsletter with a t tutorial and PDF. So that's kind of where my process of thinking is going. So let's do this one as a venture. Wait. Um, you might hear my puppy barking in the background. Uh, so I think adventure weights, this is going to be like a good graduation card. Maybe somebody has, you know, maybe got a new job promotion. Like who knows? There's a bunch of things you can use this card for. All right. Let me, uh, pull this out of my way over here. Let's move this out of my way. Okay. So we're going to bring in those two pieces that we did and I'm going to put... Let's see. Do I want the big one down? I think I want the big one down. So we're gonna put the big one down and then this one like this. So I'm gonna grab my adhesive. Alright, just like that. And then we're going to take our um circle and what we're going to do is we're actually just going to bring back in this grid paper for a minute we're going to put our boat up here and we're going to put it together so what I did was I kind of laid my boat down to see where I needed to line up those um, sails And then I did the same on this side. I just laid it down and put it there. All right, so there is our boat. I used our liquid glue for that. And then grab, oh, make sure it doesn't stick to my gray paper. Um, let me know how the lighting is. I'm playing around with some new lights. Um, I've been testing them out with my team. They say they really like them, so let me know how you guys are enjoying them. All right, we're going to pop up our sailboat. And I'm going to take one dimensional here and just cut it in half. Oh, thank you, Brenda. All right, so we're just going to let see that our boat is in the water. It's a beautiful sunny day, and they're just on, they're doing a Sunday cruising out on the waters. Oh my gosh, how fun would that be? Sun in your hair and water, cool breeze. Oh, that sounds relaxing. <laughs> Maybe I should buy a boat. Not that I would know how to operate it, but <laughs> or just find a friend with some boats. That's, I think, it's a better idea. I know a lot of my friends are starting to travel. Where would you want to go if you could travel? All right. The girls and I want to go to Maui. We were supposed to go to Maui with Stampin' Up, but then due to COVID, it was canceled, and we were very sad about that. We really want to go to Maui, so I think that's where we might go. All right, uh, and the last thing is I'm going to grab some um, rhinestones. So I am using the Wave rhinestones. They are definitely sold out, but an alternative that you could use would be the Holiday rhinestones because it has um, the Costa Cabana in it, and why can't I find it? Um, and you would see those. I showed those at the beginning of the cap the video. All right, so... Sometimes I wish when Stampin' Up! comes up with beautiful products, I wish they would carry them over. Alright, so we're going to put some rhinestones. And we're going to put one. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright. So let me smooth those out of my way. All right, so there you go. I think my 
Oh, it looks a little twisted here. Let's fix that. Just to be more on the, there we go. That's better. All right. And there you go. I'm going to pull that in. There is our project for this Sunday morning craft session featuring the Let's Set Sale. So here it is here. Um, I have been featuring this on my blog all week. I will be doing a blog post today. Um, I actually took a picture with all the samples around the stamp set. So there's the one card I made and then there's the sample. So I just showed you the difference. Um, and let me show you what else I've created with this set. So this is one I have, this one's on my blog. So I used the Waves of Ocean paper. Um, I used the stitch rectangles and once again the same color combination. Here I used Pacific Point and I stamped full force and then off. So there's one there. Um, this one I paired with uh, the On the Horizon Designer Series paper. Um, which you can also find in the January to June catalog. I feel this one just connects greatly with um, the set. They work match, like it's a match made in heaven. Uh, so let your dream set sail. Once again, feel that could be like a retirement or a graduation card. I wanted to show what one looked like with just the punch, nothing stamped. Um, so once again, I used that Waves of Ocean Designer Series paper, which is still available as I looked last night. Um, and I believe it's only available till tomorrow. And then just did the Pacific Point with the birds. So just showing you how you can use the punch. So, and then the last one was actually a swap card. I participate in swaps through three times a year with other leaders here in Canada. Um, and this was one of the swap cards I got and I was going through my swaps and I found them and I was like, oh, I need to show you that. I, this person I believe paired this DSP with this Simple Marvelous, which was a celebration set product that you could earn for free. All right, there is our Sunday morning craft session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of last minute. I popped on and said I was doing it. But be, I will be doing it next Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Um, like I said, we're going to try Sunday morning for the month of May. See how that works. Reevaluate. And then moving forward, I will definitely let you know. So as you can see, one stamp set and one adorable punch has created all these beautiful... Oh, hold on. My thing keeps flying here. All these beautiful products to go with it. So I hope that inspired you for the Let's Set Sale. Um, just a few reminders as we end our session here. Um, this video will be uploaded to YouTube this afternoon. I just have to do it, run and do an errand, then I will be right back. Um, I will be working on catalogs this afternoon, so they will be ready to go later tonight, and I will post that in my email. Make sure if you're not on my email list, to to join my email list because I do a weekly roundup. So I round up all the projects we made, I share them with you, and then I give you a free tutorial that for one of the projects. Um, tomorrow is the last day for our 2021 annual catalog. Our 2022 annual catalog starts on, on um, Tuesday, and the month of May, if you place a $50 order or more, you're going to get one of the glossy dots as my way of saying thank you. And watch for information about my BOGO sale at the end of the month, so my buy one, get one, and upcoming classes for May and June. All right, everyone, let me just check comments here. Uh, oh, thanks, Brenda. She says it looks great and cute card, and Angie said very nice, inspiring. Ah, oh, I'm glad that inspired you, Angie. I hope all is well with you. Um, and yes, thank you for joining me. Have a great rest of your sat Saturday. You see? I lost a day when I was gardening. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and I will be back with you next week. See you soon. Bye, everyone.